Welcome everybody to Tony on Experts Teach You How to Get to Hollywood. I'm here with Kati. Kati, can you please tell us what you do for a living? Um, I am a creative director and I mainly do fashion films. What are fashion films? Um, so a fashion film is a very new thing that um, was born. I think uh, the first fashion films like were done like a, about 10 years ago and basically um, now with the internet era and social media brands are just uh, fashion brands are um, trying to find a new way to communicate their message and their values and as you have a lot of um, content right now on the on the web and everywhere else they're trying to do it in a more appealing and captivating way so they use fashion films, which are like short narrative stories where they can feature their products and uh, the things that they do. And, um, and that's how they communicate their values and uh, you know, their brand and... Um, and do you like act in these or do you like make these? I, I create them. I do create them. I, you know, sometimes uh, write the stories, um, sometimes just like, overlook the overall style there are, there are different types so uh, but I do create them yeah okay how does your how do you um, can can a fashion film be selected for a festival or awards yeah it does it does um, because uh, if it's a, a narrative short film it's it's a short film in its own right so uh, it can be selected to fashion film festival or just short film festival in general, and it can win awards. We yeah, it does. Um, how do you get these actors? Like, are they just regular actors, or do they need to be like specific people? Well, it depends. Sometimes they're not even actors; they're just like models or influencers, like social media influencers, because sometimes brands they want to have you know, someone who can kind of boost their communication with followers and things like that. Um, and sometimes, and that happens when, you know, we get bigger budgets, uh, which is not always the case, but, you know, sometimes you manage to get some, you know, emerging actor or bigger actor to do the short film. Like the very big luxury brands, they, they do use like big actors to, to do their fashion films. Okay. That that's really cool. How old were you when you started? Well, I didn't really start too long ago, to be honest with you. I I started um, about four years ago when I moved here in LA. Um, like at, after a year and a half, basically, that I have moved here in LA, and uh, and it kind of happened by you know like a series of coincidences. I, I I I've been working in fashion my entire life. I've been a designer, and then. I was asked to do a short film for an Italian brand and I did it and that's, you know, and that's how it started. Um, so yeah, it just happened four years ago and uh, four years ago, let me think I was 34. So not even that young. <laughs> yeah. So how do you have any advice for like the people that want to do fashion films? Um, yeah, the first would be, um, well, with nowadays with all the, you know, technology that is available, um, there, there are so many different ways one can start doing short films. So my first advice would be start doing, start producing content, like start doing short films. And remember that the main goal is to feature a brand, which means that if it's a fashion brand, uh, the product is key, or if it's a lifestyle brand, like the the value and what you communicate, you know, is very important. And start producing little things, like even 60 second things, like 30 seconds things and start sending them out there, posting them on your social media and just see, just, just kind of show that to people and to the world that you can create stuff. So that's, that's my advice. Thank you. Um, so like, do you have like, is it, do you, how do you make these fashion films? Like, are they like, kind of like regular shows or like, not like a show, but 
do you make them like it's a show or do you make them like it's like an ad kind of well, it's like, it's, it, imagine a short story. So um, the way we create them is, um, well, the way a short film is created, basically. So we come up with a story that usually is a little story that is related to what the brands want to communicate. And um, to give an example for that, like the, the last one that I've done was a short film that was to celebrate the 25 years of gas handbags. So uh, the first idea that I came up with was like, oh, it would be nice if um, we, we told the story of this girl that kind of travel, travels across time and she has to find all the most iconic gas handbags from the past. And then, you know, just kind of go to the future, go in the future and just take another bag from the future and then come back to the present and kind of add all of this bag that she's collected to her own collection. So that was the, the beginning idea. And uh, so we started building on that. That was the initial concept. And then of course, you know, when you enter into production, you, you realize that you have uh, opportunities and of course you have obstacles as well. And the obstacles often are like, you know, budget or location and time. And we didn't really have a lot of time. So we had to shoot in one single location and do everything very, quickly in one day only. So we had to review the story so that it could work. And it ended up like being a, I mean, the concept stayed the same, but it ended up being a story about this girl that goes in a motel in the middle of nowhere in the desert. And she starts having like flashbacks about the past. And every time she has a flashback, she has a flashback, a bag appears. And then, you know, she takes all of these bags and at the end, someone give, gives her coordinates and she goes in the desert and the whole ground from the future appears and it's the last bag and then she goes back and she puts the last bag, bag in her collection. So it's, it's really about telling a story and, you know, engaging an audience with a short little story. That one was a like, little bit of a thriller vibe and um, it's really about creating like a short little story that can be fun and engage audience. Okay, well, that's, that's cool. So... Do you, is, can this job get frustrating or is it always nice? Well, I, <laughs> I love this job. I, I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't. I think it's, um, it's amazing and it's, it's, uh, it's a very, great passion for me. And I, I really think that it's, it's great to, be, to have the privilege to do such thing. And at the same time, you know, it's, uh, it's stressful. It has stressful moments. It has ups and downs. And uh, like, you know, anything else I, I believe in life has ups and downs. And, and same, same here, you know, you have obstacles and you just have to figure out solutions on, you know, how to overcome things and how to twist them around sometimes because, you know, that, you know, time sometimes is limited and sometimes uh, on set, you know, there are problems coming up and, things that are not working and you just have to quickly figure out how you can make them work in a way or in another. So it's, it's really about thinking outside of the box and never focusing on the problem, but more on the opportunities that it gives. And, uh, but it's a great job. It's very creative, uh, creative. It's very fulfilling. And I, I love it. That's great that you love it. A lot of people don't like their jobs and <laughs> it's great that you love your job. Um, have you ever had a time where you were a big thing was about to happen for your like company or like your show or like you're about to start shooting and something like right before that like really bad happened like maybe someone died in the family or like something you just get really mad like how would you handle that how do you handle like getting happy and well, not not something that big, which like not not like a huge event like that. We always had some technical issues that can you know that could easily be solved, and uh, that was pretty much about it. Um, but no, no, so far I haven't really had like any type of situation where it was like a big thing that needed to be solved. But I guess I would, I was just staying staying the moment, you know. I was like. Just stay in the moment and see what happens, and and just take one one you know one thing at one step at a time. What's the most frustrating thing about this job? Um, 
it's uh, I, I would say it's uh, since it's project based it's that it has no continuity and sometimes you you know work a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot you know and in in a month for example and then maybe it's um it's just kind of silent and still for another month i mean it's it's kind of being on a roller coaster all the time and it's um it's 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 kind of you know like it, that that's the frustrating part because you know it doesn't really have um a continuity until you i mean until you get to the point it, it starts you know it starts happening and you know you get more clients and more projects and things like that but um but it, it's always like that it's it's unpredictable so sometimes it's frustrating because you can't pitch projects out there and you can't predict if they're gonna happen or not or you write things that you really want to do and and then it takes forever to have them done and you know for example like i, I wrote a short film that i really want to do and it's been sitting there for a year and it's still there and i you know i'm still pitching it out and i'm still not finding the right you know people to do it with because you have to you know raise budget and all that stuff so sometimes that's the frustrating part that you really want to do some something you believe in or you you really care about and um and i mean it it doesn't always happen overnight so it's it's that just being on a roller coaster it's a job that has no um no routine there's no routine in this job what's the best thing about this job it's everything else <laughs> I, I, it's it's creative it get like i i love it because it makes me feel that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm creating something, I'm expressing myself, I'm, you know, I'm just, uh, I have like a big picture in mind and that picture becomes alive. And it, it's like, it's it's like dreaming open eyes in a way, you know, it's, it's like um, having a fantasy and making it come true. That's the exciting part about the, the job is just kind of giving life to your own imagination and, uh, you know that's that's really great that's really fulfilling like the feeling of that is really big how did you get into fashion films what made you want to do this um you know well films and fashion have been my greatest passions ever since i was a kid and when i was a kid and i was about <laughs> probably about your age i would i would just you know play a lot with my friends and i would dress all of them up and, and then i would invent stories and what I was kind of a director who would tell, um, and I would tell my friends, okay, you play this part, you're this such and such character, and you're this such and such character. So I think it has been in my DNA ever since I was a kid. And I've watched thousands and thousands and thousands of films because they, I've always loved them. And I've always, you know, growing up, I've always um, tried to find a way to merge fashion and films. But back in the days, um well 90s and 2000 early 2000 where there was i mean internet was not there yet and there was no such way to just bring to these two things together and then the opportunity came out you know a few years ago like five years ago when i moved here to lay and you know there's the film industry here but fashion is kind of growing up too and uh you know there was this opportunity to just kind of bring into these two words together and create what I've always dreamed, you know, creating like, you know, fashion films, some, you know, really um, nice films that have, you know, like a very uh, high end, uh, beautiful images and vibe. And at the same time that can, you know, vehicle a message and tell a story and not just display products, pretty products and things like that. Yeah. So but that's, that's great that, that's like, that's like, wow, it's like always in your DNA. It's like, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, like, when you're doing, like, when you were little and stuff and you were doing that, how old were you when you figured out this is like, what I really want to do? Well, it's a good question. And um, um, I'm going to tell you a little like, story about that. I first came, I'm Italian. So I come from Italy and I'm, com I'm coming from the city called Milan. Um, that is in the north. And it's, it's kind of the fashion capital in Italy. 
Um, and when I was a kid, I was six years old. Uh, my dad, he took me to the U.S. for the first time. He took me to L.A. for the first time. I came here and I went, I was on a trip with my dad. And he took me to the um, uh, Universal Studios here in Hollywood. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I was, and it was such a great experience. Like he took me, you know, like Universal and Disneyland. Like it was, it was a fun, fun vacation. So I clearly remember, like it's kind of it's set in stone in my memory that I was six years old. I was on the little bus tour of the Universal Studios, and at some point, I just um, we were just you know touring like the stage, like the behind the scenes and everything. And I clearly remember I was six years old and I told my dad, you know what, dad, like one day I'll, I'm just going to live here and work here. And, you know, it took me, it took me a lot of time to just kind of realize that dream. But I think that that was really the beginning of it. Like the, the, the feeling that some, somehow in some way, 30 years later, I would, you know, end up in LA and just do what I'm doing right now. So, um, I would say forever, you know, like I, I would say, I, you know, that was, that, that, that this has been my dream ever since I was a kid. So That's great. What have you, do you think you've changed a lot, like progressed and like made your company even bigger ever since you started? Yeah, I mean, you learn, you learn every day. You never stop learning and you never stop growing. And it's every day is, um, is, a, is a new lesson and, and, and the people you meet can always just teach you something. And I think that, um, yeah, so it's, it's always a work in progress. It's, you know, my, my personal belief in work and in life in general is that we, there's never a destination. It's about the journey. And I think that the more we leave the journey and the more we accept and embrace the fact that we're going to, you know, keep walking and meeting people and, uh, you know, embracing different things, cultures, teachings, and everything else, the more we grow and the more we, you know, become, you know, better better human beings and so I feel that the only destination we're gonna reach at one point one day is when it's over you know it's, it's that's the only destination but I feel that every my life is all about the journey it's not about the destination so it's all about growing and learning and becoming a better person every day that's great so when you were like when you were just graduating, really, it, what did you, um, like, did you go straight to, like, trying to do this stuff, or did you, like, go, like, do something else and then come to doing this? Trying no, to yeah, I, I had to, no, I didn't, I didn't start doing this right away. I've been, um, well, first off, I graduated in fashion design, so I started being a designer before anything else. And I've been a designer for 15 years, 17, probably. Uh, and I'm still doing it. I mean, I mean, I still consult brands on their collections, and I still give them advices on their products and everything. And that has been my main you know, job for many, many years. Um, and it was a great job as well. It was very creative as well, and it was great to you know just uh, work with some of the best designers in the world and I, I feel blessed for all of that and uh, I just started you know and then and then the dream was to come here to the U.S. and start this and then you know that was chapter two of my life so it wasn't not something that I started right away it took a few steps to um to start it but I mean who cares yeah <laughs> as long yeah. as you start right exactly so did you, when you were on that trip to Hollywood, when you said to your dad, oh, I want, when I grow up, I want to live here and stuff, what was his reaction to it? Um, I can't really remember that, uh, what my dad's reaction was, but um, I think he was amused. Like, I can't remember him smiling the entire trip and just us having fun on that trip. I think it's, it's totally been one of the best trips of my life. Like he, my dad, you know, and I were very, were very close at that time. And, you know, he just took me in, in some amazing, you know, places and we did a lot of things together. So, um, 
I think he was amused. I was like a bold little kid, kid that wasn't scared about anything. I would just go on roller coasters and things like that. So he was just amused. Did your mom and dad support you a lot when you were younger? I'm sorry, say that again? When you were uh, first starting to do this, like even like when you first started like five years ago, four years ago, or when like you were a kid and you were doing this, did they support you a lot? Well, I wish they did, but the, the sad sad thing is uh, that my parent passed uh, five years ago. So uh, both my mom and my dad passed away, so I don't have them anymore. And, uh, you know, I just kind of lost my family. And uh, that's, uh, that's the sad part about, you know, this whole story. I wish they were here. I feel, I feel their support and their energy on a different, in a different way. Uh, I don't have the chance to talk to them anymore. So, I mean, unless, I mean, unless it's, you know, mentally in a way, but, um, but yeah, but I feel, you know, that I, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's part of life. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's just, um, just, just, just being there and like, in a way supporting myself and knowing that in, in a way or in another, like energy wise, you're still going to help. Yeah. So, do you feel that, like, do you have any siblings? I have, uh, I only have stepbrothers and sisters from my dad's side. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're kind of uh, very different and we, we never really grew together. Or, um, yeah, we're... Did they support you in any way? Um, I mean, we're very different. We have different lives and they don't really understand that I left Italy to come here to do this thing. So, um, not really. I mean, they, they just, it's just, uh, you know, I left and that's it. <laughs> so for them, it's yeah. like, um, I decided to go and so they, they don't really accept that fact. And, you know, they prefer that I stayed in Italy and stayed there probably, but it's fine. I mean, it's, it is what it is. Yeah. And I love them. I mean, we, we you know, we still talk. We're, we still love each other. And, uh, but I just feel that, you know, I just need to go my, my way and just, you know, follow my dream as much as I can. Did they, uh, did, not them. Do you write a, um, a book or a blog? Do you write anything like that? Or do you? I do. And it's actually going to come out soon. And uh, I haven't launched it yet. I'm gonna launch it September 1st, and it's gonna call, be called the, the the title of the blog is gonna be the stage of life and other Coxy stories. And uh, it's, where can you it's, find this? I'm sorry. Where can you find the blog? Oh, on my website. And my website is um, it's coxy.com. I T S C C O X Y dot com. Well, you heard it, everybody. Uh, Go check that out. Yeah, and yeah, there's a sign up, so um, it's not launched yet, but it's gonna be like I, I'm gonna launch it like September uh, 1st. So if you, yeah, if you want to sign up for the newsletter, for you're gonna receive like a, an episode or a little story every week in your inbox, and you uh, can read it. Murder. Yeah, and yeah, it's all but... like random episodes of my life, and you know the the beautiful things and the you know, bad and beautiful things that happened to me and, the, you know, like the, the very funny episodes too and, um, you know, about everything that happened on my life. And I called it the stage of life because I believe that life is like a, a film, like in like our stage, you know, our stage on a daily basis. And so uh, on that stage, I think that we can be leading actors, we can be directors and we can play many different parts. So uh, it's our stage and it's, you know, our role is just to live the best that we can and to make um, every moment count. Well, thank you. And thank you, thank you everybody for watching. 21 Experts teach you how to get to Hollywood. Have a great day, guys. Yay.